everybody. So it's time for another Friday Read Recommendation video and I'll have a little bit of a haul on the end of it as well in case you need a couple other books on your to be read list. Since it's the last Friday in National Poetry Month I am going to recommend a collection of poetry to you by the absolutely wonderful Anne Sexton. I personally have the complete selection of her poems but I'm not going to necessarily suggest you read all of them even though she's a really great poet. She's a confessional poet much like Sylvia Plath so a lot of it is about her own experience and how she has seen and dealt with the world which I personally find fascinating in poetry. I particularly love her collection called Transfigurations. It's where she takes different fairy tales and transfigures them not only into poems but into poems that reflect kind of her own sarcasm and view and modern life in general. Um, they're really 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 good. I always make my students read Cinderella when we're trying to transition from fiction into poetry. Uh, we'll read the Grimm's fairy tale Cinderella and we'll read Cinderella the Transfiguration poem by Anne Sexton and we'll kind of dissect the differences and what it means to tell a story and how it's different in prose versus in poetry and how a lot of the elements are still the same so that they kind of feel like they're in good footing. And that means if you're not super into poetry this is a great collection for you. It's going to be tales you feel like you know but they're going to be told in a new and surprising voice. This week I also picked up a couple of books because I had to go pick up a couple of plays for my sister for a class that she's taking so I picked up a couple of books for myself as well. I picked up The Impossible Knife of Memory by Lori Hulse Anderson because it's about a girl whose dad has PTSD. I actually have a family member who was discharged from the military because of PTSD and it's a very constant battle so the subject matter really interests me but also it's Lori Hulse Anderson so she's going to tell it really well and she's going to craft her story in a way that's very plot driven and yet very approachable. I also picked up The Rosie Project by a name I can't pronounce, Grammy Simison. This kind of goes a little bit with the Married at First Sight video that I made about a week ago. Um, it has a lot to do with him trying to find the perfect mate in a more scientific manner and then of course figuring out that that's not exactly how it works. But I'm also just really excited to read it because I've heard good things and it seems like a really good and kind of lovely book. If you've read any of Anne Sexton's poetry or either of the two books that I've talked about today, feel free to let me know in the comments because I want to know what you thought of them. And if not, I hope that you enjoy one of them soon, particularly in Sexton's poetry since we are still in National Poetry Month. The question I want to leave you with today is what has been the best poem you've read this month? If you leave that in the comments, I am looking for some more poetry to read. And that's all that I have for you today, so I will see you next week. Bye!